Hi everybody, my name is Don Nakagawa and I'm sorry I couldn't be there today. I am in China doing important work, um, but I will be there in San Francisco on January 15th and I hope I get a chance to meet um, some or all of you. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about why I invested in Blueprints. I was one of the earliest investors and um, I do believe it is a, a model, a very important model for the uh, sustainable development of our resources, our planetary, our scarce planetary resources in the future. I work for the Bergeron Institute where I've been for eight years and I'm the executive vice president and oversee the launch of different programs. So we've organized our programs around something called the Great Transformations, which is essentially um, analysis of the time we're living in and, uh, the, and hopefully the development of new institutional and systemic models that are adapted to the changes of the times we're living through um, and resilient in the face of the challenges. Right now, we're watching our institutional and our systemic infrastructure fail. Uh, most of it's 20th century at best, and some of it's older. And one of the areas we're working on is the future of capitalism. So in the future of capitalism, we're really watching the end stages of the capitalist system that has been very much a you know private property ownership, winner take all kind of mentality and the destruction that it's wrought on both the planet and our resources and uh, and communities. Um, and uh, it's not a sustainable, obviously, model, um, and it's really not working anymore. Most of the solutions we're finding in that area are really redistrib redistribution, right? So you're trying to solve the problem after it's been created. You're trying to adapt to it somehow or alleviate some of its most egregious crimes. Um, but there's a better way. And the reason why I invested in blueprints was I found that it's a model that does that does that is consistent with my values, um, but it's a better model. It's a more sustainable model for the future by giving indigenous communities um, a stake in in the development of their resources and a seat at the table. We ensure that those resources are going to be stewarded more responsibly. Um, and it also provides and preserves for uh, their human de human dignity. So I believe it's a system that really can work, and it has worked, actually. There are multiple examples of where it is working, and there's so much more room for this uh, model to be applied in other places. So um, I, I invested very, very early because I saw it as a, a sort of you know, systemic um, solution to a crisis that has spread um, across the globe. And there are, are still some areas where, um, where we can institute this and, and do it in a way that, um, that, as I said, is consistent with my values. There are so few choices these days, whether it's, you know, my favorite sandwich shop is run by a guy who's a big game hunter, or some of my favorite products are full of palm oil, um, and they're destroying the natural habitat of the orangutan the last few remaining orangutans, or my phone was basically, you know, uh, built on materials sourced by children, barefoot poor children, you know, um, running over a junkyard, whatever it is, I just think there's so few choices to make investments that are consistent with my values for human dignity and for sustaining the planet. And I really do believe Blueprints is one of them. And I found in David a tireless warrior. Um, in this regard. And I've watched him over the last I guess, five or six years um, build blueprints to what it is today. And it really is, um, you know, on, on the cusp of becoming an incredible uh, organization and, um, and uh, uh, an investment that can scale. So I really hope you'll join me in investing in blueprints. And uh, it's the right choice <laughs> for, uh, for as an investor, but also as uh, for um, somebody who's investing in the future of the planet, not near term gains. Although there will be some of those, I think it's more about a sustainable model for the future. So I hope you'll join me and uh, I hope to meet all of you on January 15th. Thanks. Thanks for listening.